First of all, I did check with server settings, and yes, I did accidentally uh, typo the, the time of day and time of night. So now it should be fixed. We should have more hours of daytime. Which is not going to be fun, but still, it, it, it's how it's supposed to be. I think it's still overall a little shorter than vanilla, but not by much. It's like one in-game hours less daylight. And aside from that, today I reshuffled the base around a little bit. I moved most of this stuff to the new place. Uh, I started building a little garden and I tried to establish a route for farming scrolls and I feel like that's mostly what we're gonna do today because that's what's gatekeeping me. I need the tech that comes out of there. So as you can see the base is now pretty empty, the old one. There's not much around anymore. Uh, I completely deleted the entire second floor. These two coffins are conveniently placed in this corner so we can at any time close this room and turn this into a crypt. We'll have a bunch of stuff to uh, teleport over. That's what I am slowly doing. Alright. I don't know if I want to... I mean, I can definitely delete that, but I don't know what to do about this garden. I'm afraid I'm not going to get back the seeds if I delete them. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me show you what I've done to the castle. Okay, first of all, I have added a little chest around here for the bones. And I kind of sorted a little bit of the, the stuff. So, uh, as you can see, now we have a nice little bone place. And out here, aside from the fact that it's daytime, I made a nice little garden. Look, that's going to be where I plant all my stuff. Every single pad is a crop, typically. We're going to be able to have a nice and separated uh, little chemical garden for my alchemical lab. And then I'm going to probably fence all of this up into its own little space. But that's nice. Over here, we have... Is it dirty? so dirty over here i moved things around so the chests are a little bit more organized as you can see uh, i have a lot of stone dust fortunately and over here we have three helmets that i bought using copper talking to the human merchants some of the weapons i'm not using stuff like that i could probably use another chest over here or we take the stuff upstairs to the smeltery grinding over here so to show you over here we have obviously the tailoring section with the hides over there we have the final products over here we have all the cotton threads and whatnot over here and a bunch of plant fiber because we're kind of using it i think making cotton over there uh, over here we have another room that i built this is probably where I'm going to put my own place, like my my throne, my coffin, and all those kind of things. Uh, there's a chest with silver, there's a chest with copper. Now, I have also made a new staircase that goes up here. I have connected these two places. 
And over here now we have one big room that contains my new smeltery. So this is now working properly. We should put some of that down. Because we can turn that into whetstones and whetstones into uh, scourge stones. We are going to need that. So let me do a couple. Over here we have uh, the broken things and a little bit of clay. Over here we have all the gems and the dust. I've put them up here because... You know, when you have these advanced weapons, they do need the gems. I don't think you need them for anything else, so... Put them over there, and here we have some of the final products, like the whetstones, the copper, the iron, the glass, and the sulfur. So, this is a nice and tidy little area that we have right now. Over here, I made another big room, and I moved all my study stuff so the old research desk which has full-on completed research we have over here a chest that contains mostly uh the paper stuff over here we have our friend the devourer we have a paper press which is printing paper as we speak over here a little study which is going to be uh, the main thing we're going to work on today. We're going to try to fill up these things. We're going to try to upgrade our armor and upgrade our weapons as much as possible. We're going to need to create the new pendant that I don't know how to make. So we're going to have to figure that one out. But it's probably about killing one of the new bosses. Let's take a look at who's available. Uh, Terra, the Geomancer, which allows me to gem cut. And also have a golem stone. Or destroying other people's castle, I think. Um, I'm not sure that's useful for us specifically, but yeah, I think we can. Now, I need a place for my rats. I guess this is a place as good as any. We have a few seeds. Now, I wish I could check what kind of seeds these are. Like, oh, look at that. I can actually refund them. It's very nice. Snowflower. Uh, number eight. I think the snowflowers are these ones. Yes. They are. Okay. Then we have some morning lilies. We haven't planted yet. Then we have some blood rose seeds. Which are these ones right here. And we maxed out that plot. Okay. And we have the hell clarions as well. I'm going to put right there. Perfect. So every plot can stack up to seven seeds. Good to know. I guess the two extra, I'm just going to put them in the chest and forget about them. Uh, we also have a couple of cotton seeds, a uh, few saplings for like, like birch and whatnot. Doesn't matter right now. Here we have a bunch of alchemical things and some of the fishes that I've been finding. And so let me show you what I've been doing, okay, in order to farm all I'm farming currently. The first things first, I go straight down here and I unfortunately have to enter the garlic zone. But in the garlic zone, uh, I start like getting the cotton. Takes a little while. But, you know, that care of most of this that's a lot of cotton anyway so we don't need to do this a lot and this has a long respawn timer anyway so doesn't really matter then i ignore everything else i go straight in the house over here there's two cabinets i steal everything from the cabinets and i turn into a wolf 
and I get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. And we get about 20 stacks of garlic. It's not too bad. It's not the worst. Um, however, we enter another zone like that. So, once again, we take all the cotton we can take. As quick as possible. Into the house. Once again, go here. Go for the container. We want to get the containers because uh, that's how we get... In the containers, that's where you find uh, the biggest amount of stuff like paper, but also you can find all books of recipes that we can either use or we, if we already have them, we can, ouch, we can destroy them and turn them into more scrolls. So it's useful either way. After that, I just leave. I go down here. Yeah, so each book that you find, each recipe book that you find that you already have, you feed it to the chest and that turns into uh, 15 scrolls, which is honestly the biggest amount of scrolls we can get out of the zone. Then jump down here. There's another little village. We are done with the garlic. garlic isn't done with you no the garlic is not gonna be done with me for for like a little while but that's just the it's just how garlic works uh, we get to find a little bit of papers a little bit of scrolls we try to break every single barrel chest crate everything because they can drop the scrolls, apparently. We go here. Break all these things. We find reinforced planks, by the way, which very rarely, not very common. But, you know, you get some, and that's actually hard to make. So, uh, it's, it's not bad that we're finding those kind of things. Bunch of hides. Lots of threads. Lots and lots of threads. Then we jump down here. And we do the same. This is another house. And in the house, break the chairs, break everything. There's a big container here. All the scrolls there. Flower pots. Bed. Uh, more containers, more paper, and cloth. There we go. And we leave. Get over here. Oil, wool thread. Sometimes we find glass as well, so we don't have to, um, you know, smelt as much glass and use as much quartz. And we can, you know, use quartz for anything else that we need. I then usually go up here. Sometimes there's a chest around here, sometimes there isn't. A bunch of barrels. Jump down. Kill the people over there. You know, whenever I find someone that's worth feeding on, I'm also uh, eating those people. Right. 80 cotton. See, this way we're also finding so much cotton that we basically don't need to bother with farming at all. Like between raiding the cotton farms and that, we're good. Uh, after this, we cut right into the village. And we raid all the houses that we raided yesterday. So that is the big village we keep raiding. 
Over here, there's a bunch, bunch of stuff. On the fisherman zone. There you can find fishes, so we don't really have to fish that often. Which is really nice. Uh, the only problem with this village is that there's like a lot of people. As you can see, you can kill very efficiently. Here, chest with nine scrolls, very good. Cabinet, bunch of scrolls as well. Chabby, we we'll leave, we we'll check the workers for blood, for like pure blood. Uh, lots of chests around here, so we'll break all of them. Now, people said this respawns every night. Uh, I've been here for like a couple of nights in a row and I have to say that that was not true for me. I can tell you that uh, two nights in a row, everything was just still empty and broken. So it's not not accurate. I will do as I like to land. And we accidentally pulled uh, a boss, I think. That's fine. Uh, the sun is rising. That's a little less fine, I think. Okay. Well, you know what? Ding dong, ding dong. I think the boss is going away. I'm also finding a lot of oil doing this, which means that we don't have to use the fishes for smelting. And we can use them to feed our prisoners whenever we have them. Uh, now, I can tell you that we find a lot of useless stuff, like rats. Which I do fully leave around the houses. Because we found a book on carpet collection. I think we don't have that. Nice, that's a new book. Amethyst oils. If that fucking asshole over there calling people. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to fight in here. I mean, somebody's gonna die. Take the paper, take the paper, take the scrolls, break the table and everything. Oh fuck. Oil. Get to the final house, we've been here before. Okay, so it's time to ouch, it's time to leave. Damnation is promised to the dark. Ah, uh, the lady accidentally was pulled, so now we're just gonna hide. Here. This is usually the last thing I do. Get in here. Uh, very often we have chests in this place, but apparently not today. Couple of cloth. Cloth is very useful for many uh, reasons. Sun is killing me. Cloth. 
This fucking lady is doing... It's taking the same route as I am. Now, over here, we have a sunflower field, which we can... Exploit if we had any room for sunflowers, which we usually do. With the leather. My bags are filled. All the sunflower. There is check the back for chests. I don't know who these guys are or why they're hating on me. Big brawler in here with me. There's an unsolid heart. Might want to uh, pick up somehow if we can make space for it. Gonna drop 20 bones. Take the unsolid heart. Put the cabinet. Gonna have space for all that. Fine. And that should be it for our little trip. We end up exactly at road to my out uh, the road to my castle and we end up right so all of that got me 70 pieces of paper a book 45 scrolls and a bunch of random shit overall I say not too shabby like a relatively quick farming uh, route. Put down everything. Everything that we can put down. And that gives me like almost three, four hundred essences as well. Just for the random killings. Uh, we get to put the hearts down there. We use the extra. I usually use the extras for this. I can make like greater essences. We should have. Morning lily seeds. Go. Yeah. Fire blossom seeds. Good. And keep the rest. Here in this section, we drop the stuff in the tannery. On the extra letters. Find any. Down those. Now, in the loom, as you can see, Cloth is made in several different ways. And even the threads are very useful. So I don't exactly know what happens if I feed some cloth to the chest. Like what do we get out of it? We get the basic one or is it randomized between all three? Because that would be a good way to get back some of the materials. And check that out in the meantime. Uh, deposit the silver, deposit the copper. By the way, because of our new cape, we have a little bit of silver resistance, which means we can actually carry a few coins without burning every single time. Kind of nice. Here, we drop everything, as you can see. Decent amount of these. And in the printing press, we can turn all threads and papers into more scrolls. Now the problem is making those reds. But let's see. Let's feed the devourer. And see what kind of uh, leathers we get out of cloth. Normal leather. Is it going to be the case every time? Just like it. Yeah, that's fine. Too bad. Ah, 
uh, over here with the deposit the gems. Left with a lot of cotton and a bunch of glass. See, three glasses, some clay as well. Overall, not a terrible haul. Yeah, we only get the very basic. That's fine anyway. It's not a big deal. What we can do, though, because we get a lot of those as well. Let me see. First of all, over here at the loom. We can put the cotton down. We can make more cotton. As you can see, we have so much yarn. I don't think we're ever going to need more. However, the important part is that by looting those places, we're getting a bunch of wool threads. And wool thread can be turned into coarse threads if we wanted to. Otherwise, we need pollen, which I don't know how to make. If we figure out how to make pollen, maybe we can make a lot of scrolls. Just in the grinder. So any flowers turns into pollen. Okay. I mean, we are... Surely we have plenty of flowers of some specific kinds. Like these, for example, we have plenty of. Good those. Give the rest. Good day, Chino. Good man. Uh, it's going fairly well over here. So far, at least. It was a relatively uneventful day, which means it was a good day. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, all in and grass, which I uh, forget why I'm um, all the grass. Dude, why am I keeping the grass? That's the only problem with this new place. I'm kind of confused all the time. Good. Pollen and grass. How much pollen per grass? So we don't need as much grass. We need more pollen. Uh, let's stop with the cotton for a second. Grass. Yeah, that checks out. That's a lot. Um, we can also do something else. We can go back to my original castle. The castle improved a lot last time I saw it. Yeah, I mean, that's a different place. This is the new castle. This, is, this one is the old one that I have basically stripped. Oh, guys, uh, Flapjack has come back from the mission. Well, well, well. Look at this guy. Came back with a book. Some coarse threads and a bunch of random shit, which I'm going to take all. Good job, Flapjack. Two now? Like what castles? Yeah, I made a I made a bigger one. Coarse threads, coarse threads, coarse threads, rocket hides, paper. What level is this guy now? 336. It still sucks. Can he go here? 300. Select. Success chance is still super high. It's gonna take two hours to bring me 11 core threads, or tomorrow's gonna bring 34 back. I mean, not sure. 
You should build a castle inverted to your favorite one that we were in Castlevania terms. I wish I could. I wouldn't even know where to start with something like that. Chance of injury, 25%. You can take it. <laughs> he, he can take it. Now here we go. Here we have a lot of other stuff that we need. I'm going to take all of it. The old Castlevania inverted castle, man, as Symphony of the Night was my favorite of the inverted castles. Such a good time. So, there you go, drop a bunch of those. We're making... Super leather, which is really nice. Over here, on the rest, over here, on the leathers, over here, down. Okay, see, we have a lot of wool threads now. A lot of them. So I'm taking like a stack and a little bit. Need to take all this, which doesn't really fit here at all. And we need to put stuff back like that. That. That's about it. In the loom, we have 12 more. Not too shabby. Upstairs. Uh, over here. Let's feed our friend the devourer. First of all, we can give them this. Does he? He's not. He's not eating them. Really, my guy. Really. Dude, I really thought we could use this tech to make more core threads, but we cannot. That's a shame. Get the sawdust in. Another stack of that. Now whenever you can, put that in. What is this? Oh, the activator, the activator. Okay. Very daring, are we? Two floors? Yeah, I mean, we need the space. We need all of that space. And this is nothing. We're still missing so much stuff. I'm gonna need a grass <laughs> chest. Like a whole chest just for grass. I'm gonna put it right here. Can't make it. I need copper. Fuck. Do I have copper in all these? Damn it. You should always have copper at hand when I'm doing these things. I'll only take you to strip the first castle and build up this one. Uh, not actually as much as you think. Uh, maybe like an hour or two. Not that much in the grand scheme of things. On the pines. Things or and we have to use the fire blossom seeds over here. There you go. I cannot build here. The thing is, I started doubling up on my production right so i made another sawmill and i made another grinder so i could grind double the amount of 
materials. So I started getting back the materials from the first place and then getting the materials from the second one and then stripping the first castle also gave me back the materials. The rest was just building the rooms, which is very, very quick. It does look nice. Look, we have a little uh, garden area up here in the sun. Made all efficient, yeah. Really large. I, I, I made like big rooms, you know. Wanted to have the extra space. See, the recipe exists for the wool thread. I just. What the hell is happening? I'm running out of blood. Uh, oops, seed. I'm a little hungry. Just a little hungry. Something died here. These guys suck. Can't feed on that. Hey, the market has a lot of chests. And there's no garlic, so... Too shabby, I suppose. Problem is daytime. We have a 78% warrior over there. Okay. Well, now we know who we're eating tonight. I have to somehow kill the others first. Sun, 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 sun. Bet. Can't kill the guy, please. Fuck. I'm going to accidentally kill it. Oh, fuck, he's dead. Ah, bitch. Fine, I'm starving. I need to hit this person. <laughs> I was literally starving. I can hide in here, I think. And hide until night time. Yeah, um, so the plan for today is to gather as many scrolls as possible. And see if we can craft higher tier items and gear. And then we're going to start hunting down the missing people like that one. And I guess as soon as we get more item level, these four. We're now over halfway, I think. After we kill Terra, we're gonna be over halfway to act through Act Two, so be nice. All right. Two percent. Twenty percent. I need blood. 
I need good blood. 6, 12, 10. These guys are awful, man. Oh, there you go. How dare you? Thirty seven over there. Oh no, we have the big guy. Shit. What the fuck did he just do? Guys, level thirty. Sorry, fifty four. Just knock down a fucking tree. I should feed that lady at thirty seven percent. There you go. I think that's the best we can do for now. See, you guys made such a big deal out of this, but I would have just taken your things if you didn't start yelling and screaming like maniacs. And instead, look, I had to murder half of the village. Like, how is that good for you? At this point, they should know. They let me in. I take their things. I don't kill anybody. Unless I'm really, really hungry. That usually doesn't happen. Look out! Especially because I don't feed on citizens. No reason to. Besides, I've seen what they can do. They basically rebuild everything in a day. So there's... Really no reason for them to uh to do all this. I remember kids, no witnesses. No witnesses. They keep yelling, like, what's the reason? I'm not really doing anything. Sure, I come in here and I smash the tables. What of it? That's the problem. It's a table. Deal with it, you know? So many reinforced planks there. Kind of Remember you playing Hitman and all seeing BC of anybody? I did, yeah. That tree normally doing this. idea oh, we can take these out right because we have a ch heavy chest for that now
three. Make some of those stone bodies. Uh, simply because that's how you make like statues and like furniture around here. Somebody video where he challenged himself to kill everyone in the entire map without being seen by anyone. Is that? Uh, I I don't know. Was that the one that I said they were kind of cheating? Remember at the time you linked me two videos. I don't remember which one. I was like, yeah, but he kind of cheated. shared it no but i mean is it the same guy because i do remember that one of those things was like very like he made a lot of conditions for himself Uh, Merciless Holofan Gloves. Wait, we have those, right? Okay. And also fit that book. See? Whenever we find a book, that's uh, straight up 15 scrolls. That's huge. That's almost an entire run worth of scrolls. Let's see what we can find. We'll be able to do two holes. First of all, we get... Oh my. Merciless Iron Pistols. Pistols? I mean, they won't want to finish this level without committing a crime. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, at least I think that was it. I don't remember specifically, but yeah. Might be that one. Okay, so we can do a second one. It's so expensive though. Shit. We need to find the upgraded chest piece at least. Uh, Scythe obviously would be another really good one. Although I think the most important one would be the flooring for the study. Unless that is one of these people. <gasps> Medium bags. Oh my. Little crafting table. Ancestral forge. So we can fix those rare weapons. Pistols. Primal essence. Wide castle entrance. And the dawn thorn regalia. Shit. Yeah, no, I don't see the tailoring floor, so that's a recipe for sure. We discovered an uh, assortment of vampire statues. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Well, look. Okay, let's... um. Oh, by the way, I have a new weapon. I forgot to tell you. This is the one that we got out of the assassin guy that we killed. Like these twin blades. They have a nice, um, like, double slash. And then they have this invisible mode, which is really neat. You can, like, strike out of invisibility and do more damage. I never tested them, but seem like they're good. Shall we go kill the boss, guys? Shall we go kill... Who's this lady? Terra the Geomancer? They say she's close. Up 
here. Wait, in the... What is this place? Wait, no, she's not. That cannot be her. Fuck. Oh, it's up in the bedrock pass. Right, 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 right. Some of rules were simple and pretty forward, without bodies found, without changing disguise, and without being seen ever. Yeah, not easy, but I guess doable? Which map did he do? I think that's the important part. Because there are maps where that's really easy, especially if you get like a sniper rifle and you put yourself in a nice place. The castle party. Okay, that's um no, you know what? I can see that working. I can see that being a thing. Oh, hey, uh, the Geomancer. Okay. This place is not for you. Be gone. What's she doing? Uh, what is that? Wait, is that Terra the Geomancer? Oh, fuck. Sun is rising. Stones of Ardoran. The sun rising might be a problem on this um, incredible open space. With literally no shadows anywhere. Hold up. You stop. I've eaten. I mean, that's shadow. Technically speaking, that is shadow. This place is not for you. Be gone. I was not enough. Ah, oh, man. It is what it is, you know? Cool boss fights, though. Taste of knowledge. Ah. Fairly cool boss fight. Break the stones. 
with just a spear. Is that easier? Seems like it's actually easier. Might be faster, guys, to use the spear. And I can do it from further away. Amazing. Uh, should we go back home and see what we unlocked after fighting her? I think she had a new table. We may need a whole new wing of the castle for what she what we just unlocked. Let's see. We can now build a Jeweler's chambers we need. Okay, yeah, we need a new wing of the castle. Fair enough. Okay, let's take rocks. Take the planks. Take the pollen too while we're at it. Uh, where do I build it? I guess upstairs, like above the... Over here? I don't have blood essence. The moon. You don't have the jeweler floor, though. This could be a nice place for the jeweler. Small little room, I guess, to begin with. Although there are like a couple of big tables, so I cannot build here. Do that. That done. That done. Door. All right. You want to watch the 80 minute summary of the longer full Uh, Give me that summary. I very, very tight with time lately. Spectral Guardian. Summon a Spectral Guardian that shields allies in an area. Guardian attacks enemies with a mighty swing, dealing 80 magic damage. The shield is re reapplied every 1.5 seconds, and the Guardian lasts for 7 seconds. Gem dust, iron, and stone bricks. Iron, gem dust, and stone bricks. Gem cutting table. Fucking hell, look at that thing. Look here. Wow. I didn't have time to watch two parts, which sum up to 15 hours. You don't have to. Oh, 15 hours? Yeah, no, I definitely don't have time for that. Uh, 12 glass, 1 greater blood essence. That's easily done. 12 glass. I have 69 gem dust. <laughs> Give me one of these. Artisan table. Let's see what we can do. How big is this thing? Not too big. Up. 
pretty big. All right, what can we do? Gem cutting table. So we can turn smaller gems into larger gems. Fair enough, not too shabby. And here we can craft, ooh. This is for the new pendant. Right, we need scourge stones. Uh, how, what was the recipe? I remember we have it. Scourge stones. We need grave dust and wet stones. Means we need stone dust and copper. Well, we're gonna use some copper, I suppose. I mean, we have so much copper anyway. Let's use fifty. Hello. But 50 copper in. Did I just split this? Like, do I have 50 in my bags already? Huh. So that makes the whetstone. And we need grave dust. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Can't make grave dust, can we? Uh, we can turn a lot of bones into grave dust. I mean, we have probably too many bones anyway. So let's grind like half of them into that. Uh, what was I using the pollen for? I think I was pollen for this. Right. We have a tier 2 jewel for the blood fountain. Equip it, don't care. Uh, we don't really have anything else. You can always make bones, I suppose, by summoning people. But we can raid an undead cemetery or something like that. Okay. Nice. Oh, I've also put like the water tank right there. For our all chemical needs. Okie doke. So we have planks, we have that, we have that. Uh, the new wing is being built. Let's go kill... Get pistols. We're crafting... No, I should get the Ancestral Forge. He'll raise you the sh Oh, fuck. This guy's in the monastery. Okay, hold up. If I want to do the monastery, we need the new... Upgraded gear, don't we? I think we can make it. At least part of it. We need iron and thick leather. We could have a little bit of thick leather, sure. 19. Not a lot. Uh, don't we have more? 52. Okay, no, we should have everything. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Pants, gloves, and boots. How do I look like? I feel the same. <laughs> We're finally making threads. Let's, um,. Put a little bit of order in my life. There you go. We use all the threads from this place. It 
to make paper. We have most definitely not enough scrolls. However, we found a book for the only pendant we already had, so let's read Chester. That's another lovely 15 scrolls. It's so expensive doing everything. Anything in this game? Well, very little we are getting. And we're out of threads again. After making eight pieces of paper. How much is? It's four per. So expensive. Right, fine. Um what should we do? Go and meet. Wait, what what's my item level now? I can see the level 60 enemies. Domina the Blade Dancer, Castle Teleporter. Impair with another teleporter to quickly warp between them. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a like a lift, I suppose. We have Angram the Purifier. Look at this fucker. Mutative rat. Explosive box and irradiant gruel. What the hell? Then we have Ziva the Engineer, which unlocks the Fabricator. Pretty canisters, radium alloy. What the fuck? Dude, that's way too much tech. Let's start simple. The Mountain Terror. Okay, so let's say we want to go to the monastery, right? We need a way to resist holy. Which means we need a holy resistance potion. Sunflowers, grave dust, and water bottles. Water bottles are easily made with glass. Like a few. Uh, 45 sunflowers. 48. That's good enough. And grave dust. Should have. Not much, but. Let's start with one potion. Okay, so let's take the five potions over here. We can build them with water, I think. At the well. Very good. And we have everything for a holy resistance potion. Man, I didn't think we need we needed so many sunflowers. That we do. Also, I wish this game had a way to pull from nearby chests when crafting. It's so silly that I have to have everything in my inventory. That is just so inconvenient. Every uh, like all the good games can absolutely uh, pull from nearby chests. Like Core Keeper, if you put a chest next to a crafting bench use the inventory of that chest as you should all right well look we have most of the things we need here i just need to drop all the stuff uh you know what i need i need a chest like right here like a different one something that i can tell it's different this will not work where I dump a bunch of stuff that I don't want with me at the moment, but it's like building stuff or generally useful stuff, okay? That I can pick up again once I get back in here. And so we venture forth. I think we are good. Uh, what I'm going to try to do before approaching the monastery is I'm gonna try to find some high level blood for myself. With the aid of our new power, the blood vision.
two. No, kill it. And if we see someone that's like a hundred percent, I guess we're just gonna abduct them and imprison them. I do have the rune with me, the dust color, so we can instantly teleport anybody. To the camp. Instantly. Sorry, to the camp. To the prison cell. Directly go to jail, okay? <laughs> it's like a monopoly power. Not Pasco, exactly. Uh, this is a cotton field. I didn't mean to be here and be absolutely smeared in garlic. But I am going in and I'm going to steal from that. Oh, that was very good. There was a book in there. I would really like to get in there, but I am not because there's fucking garlic everywhere. And I am stinky and I don't want to be stinky. Okay, dope. I guess while it's daytime and we have time to kill, uh, quite literally, I'm gonna have time to kill by going into all these different camps and kill. Sun, dude. Sun. Seven percent, twenty five percent, twenty percent. Oh, my God, I got hit. Really? Easy. Yo, these um these weapons are not too bad, huh? Twin blades of Azinoth only. It's almost night time. No. We have a 10% worker. Useless. I think sometimes you can see the 100% because they have this red aura around them. We made a grand total of six scrolls and we found another merciless iron sword, which I think I already have. But that's going to be turned into more scrolls. Now we are slowly making our way to the monastery. The moon is rising, so maybe we should just cut straight from the monastery. Bed. Unless we find, like, good blood anywhere.
we can probably fight good blood in the monastery itself at this point. One twenty twenty four. Bloody hell. Is this like a garlic place? This is a garlic place. Four fifteen. I don't want to get garlic. Sorry. What about this place? Seems chill enough. Is this is a militia camp completely empty. Why? This place completely empty. Dude, we could be fishing. Oh, man. Okay, so that is the monastery. Let's drink our sun. Holy resistance potion. And go in. We have 30 minutes. 24, 21. I have two healing salves as well. I hope the holy resistance potion is enough. What do we have here? 37, 5, 9. All right. going in okay it seems like it's working debuff holy radiation this damage as long as you're exposed to it I'm not taking damage so maybe we're all good what the fuck are those guys level 74 warrior. I need that guy. These guys are level 56. Ow. We have a super warrior blood. That's good. Very good. Am I still taking damage from... Am I taking any damage from the holy thing? Not entirely sure. It seems like I'm healing, so... No, I'm not taking any damage. However, I am taking... Absolutely taking the freaking score stones. Of the cemetery. And all the, of the graves. It's really good. Uh, that's a lot of people. That's a nun and a devoted. Turn into a rat and start sneaking in. Am I tracking the boss? It's in the monastery. Inside. It's too devoted, and there he is. I sneak past devoted. Run away, I have any money. Yes, I can. All right. That's him. Your arrogance will not be punished. Ow. The fuck is that? I'm stuck. The 
fuck just happened? Oh my god. Oh, the devoted are coming. Uh, I am fucked. That guy is high level. Kneel before the light. What the fuck is he doing? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what just happened? Uh, how do you not get him? That's a lot of people. Warrior, five crossbow. Ouchies. Fifty seven militia longbow. That's all we need. Uh, if I can survive this. This is going to be kind of hard. That's an entire fucking team of people, huh? Jesus Christ, my God. They keep getting healed by the fucking nun. The nun, I have no idea where she is. She seems to be gone. Problem here is the fire and the fact that I have one HP. But mostly the fire. I need to eat that guy. fully healed or ready. and now they have like another team of people what the fuck is happening okay he died i need to eat this person Oh my good god, what is going on here? Can I even heal in peace? Three hours of daylight. How do I kill the guy inside, guys? Scholar 4, Scholar 4, Scholar 1, 7. First of all, okay. 
place. Okay. I will show you the real. 